Hey guys, we got some, some good news regarding Wrexham's injury situation. Obviously, we've had a few injury problems over the last few weeks, but it looks like it's starting to starting to settle down now. Obviously, we've had O'Connell and McFadden return from their injuries, and two probably two major players in Hayden and O'Connor are set to return relatively shortly. Speaking to the local press, Parkinson's mentioned that Hayden and O'Connor are very close to returning to first team action, though they won't be available for this trip this weekend to Bromley. Probably not a good idea to play against Bromley with their artificial pitch. Don't want to aggravate any sort of injuries that those two might have. And with the players we've got available, I think we should we should have enough to at least get a good result against Bromley, whether that's a draw or a victory. In terms of the other couple of players, we've got uh, Hull Johnson and Bryce Ozana. Phil Parkinson has mentioned that those two players are close to return, so obviously when Reese Hull Johnson returns, he'll be looking to go out alone. Obviously that needs to be done before before the end of March, because there's a, a transfer deadline there. But it's good good that Bryce Ozana will be back before the end of the season, because I was I thought he might be out for the whole season, which would have been a shame for the lad, because he has got potential. And obviously we have we brought in Barnett, Ford's out with personal issues i don't know if that's been resolved now but we'll have to wait and see for that one but yeah it's looking like it looks like situation starting to improve there's also a nice little bit of fun information that's come out the last couple of days ben foster mentioned to live score that he was offered a contract by wrexham so but obviously he turned that down because he's looking to continue his all like media youtube career thing I think that might have been a bit awkward in terms of Wrexham's documentary if we'd have, if we'd have done that really. But obviously we went for Howard instead. But it would have been fun because I think he did play for us you know, towards the start of his career and it basically set him on his way for a, a very successful journey. And if he had joined us, it would be nice for him to end his journey with a, a title victory with Wrexham. But oh well, these things happen. Also, I just want to apologise as well for my voice sounds a bit odd. I'm just under a bit of a, under a, bit of a cold at the moment, so... If I sound a bit weird, that's that's the reasoning. Shame about the the result yesterday with with Notts County. I was hoping that AC might have been able to pull something off, but it's it always seems to be a little bit random when Notts will slip up because you'd have thought perhaps like the Barnet or South End would have put more of a threat up against them, but they got thumped by Notts County. Then you get Dagenham beat them two one in a game where Notts County should have really scored four or five. But yeah, it's a lot, a lot of exciting. A lot of exciting details to come. What do you think of our injury situation? Are you planning to go to Bromley on the weekend? And do you think that do you think Ben Foster really should have signed for Wrexham rather than continuing his media activities? Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. It'd be great to hear from from you all. But thanks for your time. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye bye.